to the Midwest Sports Show. Gene. Yes, I'm wearing my new Cubs shirt. So it's a new new day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I forgot to dedicate this to uh, uh How about this? The state, state championship comes back to Dubuque. West Dubuque, which is not actually in Dubuque. It's in Epworth. All those farm boys won the uh, state football title in Iowa. Pretty awesome. All right. There you go. Yeah, undefeated. Uh, but you, you didn't you didn't go to school there, right? So no, but West Dubuque that's who, that's where all the farm kids go. Oh, they're good they're good athletes though. So good job West Dubuque. Epworth. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Dubuque well, Gene, is so I mean, big. you didn't even go to school there. No, there's no, a, well, I mean, I don't know. it's pretty cool. Well, look at there's Dubuque. two high school. There, there's like ten high schools in Dubuque, yeah, right? So three, I mean, three. we could be doing this for the next decade. <laughs> You have a Dubuque, you have Dubuque, and then you have West Dubuque, which is in in Dubuque, and then you have East Dubuque, which is in Illinois. Are these? Oh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody, especially if your name's Cheryl. (coughs) Yes, 100%. Happy, uh, this is the, uh, Gene, this is the Thanksgiving show. Yeah, we're celebrating everybody out there, especially if your team won the state football championship like West Dubuque did, the Bobcats. There you go, bring it all around. So uh, this is the... It's uh, it's their first... It's great for Dubuque. Cheryl went there? Is that right? Oh, oh, no, she went to my high school. Okay. Hempstead. We won a state championship. Oh, my God. We got Western Iowa checking in. Yeah, my cousin did. It's uh, yeah, this is uh, nice. got a lot of lot of what corn huskers, right? No, he's no, in what's Council the? Bluff. He's in Iowa. He's I know. Well, what's what's the Iowa? The Iowa what? Corn? It's corn huskers, right? No, no, no. That's Nebraska, Nebraska right? That's well, who Iowa plays. Iowa plays Nebraska Friday. What's the oh Hawkeyes, right? A lot of Hawkeyes. Yes, I mean in this audience. And then if Iowa wins Friday, they'll be nine and three on the year. Mm. All right. Yeah. All right. So what? They beat Minnesota last uh, Two week. Two weeks ago, then they and beat then, Illinois. And then this last week, week they did I beat Illinois. Or? Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, the big game. And Lovey Smith. Great. Oh yeah, he's okay. He sucks. Okay. Uh, Minnesota plays Wisconsin this week, and for the first time ever, college game day is going to be in Minnesota. And I'm telling you, if you have not been to a game in Minnesota in November, you you're going. to Oh, the coldest game I've ever been to was uh, my brother and I went to an Iowa-Minnesota game in November, and it was brutal. It was pretty cold? Yeah, because they don't play in the Viking Stadium. They play outside. Yeah, like real men. Yeah. So college game day is going to make their first trip to Minnesota. All so right. That's a big game, so Minnesota-Wisconsin. Is, is is Whoever it? wins is going to go to the Big Ten title game. Is it Jim Corzai? Is that the guy's name, the no. old guy? What's the old guy's name? Uh, always... Lee, Lee Corso. Well, yeah, Lee Corso. Yeah. Is he gonna be? Is he gonna die? Yeah, I don't know. They better. They better wrap him up. Someone get him an Irish but coffee. But how about this, Minnesota? So the winner will play. Get the opportunity to play Ohio State in the Big Ten title game. Uh, good luck with that one, guys. Yeah. 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 All right. So anything? Any? Any other college oh, football? I was great. No college football right. is exciting. Uh, I'm I'm rooting for the Big Ten all the way. Go Ohio State. Well, Gene, uh, you know I, I hate to, uh, you know, Ohio get, State get, plays I, Michigan. I actually week. do have a college story this week. Oh, you do. Okay, since we're terrible. talking about college right now, but I'm going to just say the name of the show first. It's called the Midwest Sports Show. Yes, that's up to and you. And okay. my you name is Chris Dotson. That. and that's Gene Steichen, uh, and welcome to the show. Yeah. Um, if you listen to it, there's a show, a visual show on YouTube and Facebook. Wow. And if you watch it, there's a podcast on the iTunes Music Store. So uh, both versions, I think, are pretty yeah, good. Yeah, got it covered. Yeah. And little... There's nice graphics. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, oh, uh, yes. This is I, – I like to answer all the person questions. There's three high schools in Dubuque. The one, West Dubuque. How many high schools are in Dubuque, Gene, from oh, the audience? I, uh, <laughs> Hempstead, where I went, senior in Wallard, and then West Dubuque is in Epworth, which is all farm kids. Uh, they're the ones that won the state title. Yeah, there you go. And East Dubuque is in all Illinois. Right. They're small school. Our ratings are going through <laughs> the roof. <laughs> I'm just saying, Dubuque's popular. 60,000 people, which is how many homeless people are in L.A. So if you took everyone in Dubuque, you put them on a plane, and you flew them out here, and then you put them out on the streets, homeless, that's what... Um, our homeless population is. 
Yeah, but those people will get jobs, though, right? Yeah, probably. Or they start I tilling. Think they would figure it out. They start tilling the park. Oh, my gosh. Gene, we are huge yeah. in Sioux City. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Sioux City is great. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, uh, all right, Gene. So, uh, yeah, but speaking about uh, college oh. football, did you see the story about Nathan Mays? Who's Do you he? know this kid? No. So there's this game. It was like Dayton, Ohio versus uh, like Youngstown. Tone Youngstown. Youngstown, uh, the Penguin. Oh, uh, yeah, something like that. There you Youngstown go. Youngstown State. Yeah, that's uh, where. Uh, a, okay. Now this is. I'm reading this from a tweet, so I didn't care enough to actually dig deeper into All the right. story. Well, that's. Very but uh, Nathan yeah. Mays, right, uh, who suffered a season-ending injury earlier this year, mm. was carried onto the field for the final snap of his career. Oh my gosh. They carried him out there. Gee, who, who, who's this guy think he is? Brian Lefwich? <laughs> wow. All right, there's a, all right, speaking of references. And then, yeah. And, uh, Gene, how about this? How about uh, carrying him to a job? How about that, huh? Because oh uh, I don't think this guy's going pro. Oh, man. What, so I, I, just, I just think this is so, like, hypocritical, how like, the fact that this out? kid – Heartwarming story into something so bad. I mean, again, I it just it's so hypocritical, hypocritical that this poor kid he, he'll remember this for playing college football, right. kid, playing a game. Uh, yeah. You know, and this is again, young, I don't know if he's from Youngstown or Dayton, Ohio, but uh, I'm pretty sure both stadiums are having no problem selling tickets. <laughs> and uh, again, yeah. he's he probably irrevocably changed his body probably uh will have a limp for the rest of his life he was never going pro yeah he's never going professional but that's really neat that's a and then gesture. i mean you know talk about dishonoring the game right, we, right. they're gonna carry you out for yeah. a snap and what you're, the other team's not gonna try i mean maybe it was the last right. you know maybe there's a second left and it was a knee down yeah, but i, I mean know. Dude, have some honor, right? I, I know. Mean, wh- who cares? But look at it. What if what if Notre Dame didn't put Rudy in for that one play so he could get that phantom sack? There'd be no movie, Rudy. Did he really get the sack in real life, or? Yeah, but um, did they? Did, was it like a Brett Favre? Uh, uh, what do you call it, Jason? Uh, what's oh, the guy's was name? Was it a sack? Yeah, I think he did. Who's the guy I mean, from football? Yeah, yeah, you know uh, yeah, about? Jason. Uh, yeah. The guy with the teeth. Everyone right, knows right. who we're Michael talking Strahan. about. Michael Strahan. Yeah, Michael Strahan. Yeah, there you go. The Phantom Second Farm. No, Notre Dame. Rudy was a walk-on, and then, uh, I don't know. They put him in at the end of the game at the fifth year or last year as a senior, and he got a sack. Well, Gene, why don't you call up your buddy Vince Vaughn? <laughs> Vince. Hey, Vince and, was uh, in Rudy. That, yeah, Gene. Yeah, that's why. I said, oh, Gene, that's I, why you said it. <laughs> oh. All right. I used Stay to with me ben, here, Gene. I used to know Vince pretty well. I spent uh, two weeks with him uh, a long time ago. When he, right before he came. And then I saw and him Before again. his broke. Before he broke. Not yeah, like that and, broke. And, and Gene was broke, broke. But uh, and then I Vince saw him. And then I broke. ran into him broke. again after he was pretty huge. And it, right after he did Jurassic World. You know he's in Jurassic Park? Uh, he was in the second one, right? Yeah. Yes. And I saw him. I saw him then. I was like, "Wow, things really worked out uh, well." Because we did a TV show together, and I think it picked up. Pilot, pilot. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't want to confuse the uh, non-showbiz oh, uh, people, but uh, right. pilot. They call it pilot. It, it was between us and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And Buffy was, ran for what twelve years. And, well, you know, yeah. it started that no talent Sarah Michelle Geller. Yeah. You know? oh, no, man. I'm joking. I'm... I've got no brain. Uh, but yeah, did he recognize you at all? Yeah. Did he, he did. All yeah, right. I mean, I we <laughs> there you we, go. We hit it off. You know, when I met him, because that first day on the set, so I met him. Uh, we were filming on Quanga in Hollywood or some outdoors, and uh, yeah, we hit it off right away because we talked about Cubs and he's Chicago. I didn't know anything. I didn't, I had no idea. I knew who he was. He was just another show. kid. He was just yeah. another guy, like in yeah. a stupid pilot with. Yeah, you know. and he, he was great. We. Man, we bought, yeah. I mean, it, and this was before cell phones, so you didn't, uh, you no. know, get his number or anything I have like that. One, no, I have a picture with him when, uh, when, yeah. Damn. Um, when we, me and the rest of the crew. So what? So like, what? What's the dynamic at that point when someone's like a huge star and then they uh, meet yeah. someone? I mean, I guess it's up to that person. Like, uh, do I want this person in my life again or? Uh, he was I, like, he, I'm he good was without really him. Nice. We, I don't know. Well, we, I mean, no offense to you, but Gene, but what are you bringing to the table? You I know. know. Except well, for talking about sports. Nothing. I haven't seen him since. <laughs> yeah. He was like, I'll call your people. And you're like, I. No. And I saw him. At, no, I was at a bar 
It was at uh, where were, it was at <laughs> Molly Malone's, I think. Okay, there you go in Fairfax. All right. Yeah, he was hanging out there. All right. Uh, All right. He, I think he could drink quite a bit, but uh, yeah, we spent a lot of time like that. I don't. All know. right. It well, we don't need. This is not the Vince uh, Vaughn uh, fan club. Hey, that was the time I drove a bus down Sunset, and uh, they had a stunt driver, and and they go, hey, listen, we're falling behind. Can you drive the bus? They, it was my b- tour bus with my name on it, my character's name, and. It's like I don't, I don't know. I've never. So wait, wait was bus. was this like a trick to like get some footage of you actually driving the bus? Yeah, or? my I, I think my name was Tommy. I, I had a tour bus, and and the two detectives always come to me for information. Yeah, and it, well, we had cops around me, so they they would they stop traffic. But I still had to drive this bus down Sunset and do all the dialogue. And oh my gosh, was I nervous? It, it, yeah. I never driven a bus, before, and I had to turn. So I drive down Sunset, and then then I had to turn left on Vine. And I was like, I don't know how to turn left. On <laughs> and there was all these people on the bus, and I did camera. Uh, I was like, please let me not kill anyone. Well, Gene, you remember the wheels in the bus go round and round. That's right. That's just like the Green Bay and San Francisco. All right. Well, right? Gene, we can uh, get to the game. We can get to the sports. Yeah. And uh, See, yes. that's why Vince was a huge sports fan. That's why, why we kind of hit it off, yep. I think. All right. Well, uh, yes, Gene, we're going to start off with the uh, probably the saddest story uh, mm. of the week. And, uh, hey, listen, you know, I love, you know, Packers were 8-2. and two. I enjoy uh, – hey, listen, Gene, I'm going to be honest. I, I enjoyed talking about the Bears and the Vikings every single week because uh, I enjoy their misery. Yeah. I enjoy well, them losing. Well – yeah. And uh, I'm not going to be one of these guys that's afraid to uh, take it. I hope it doesn't all come crashing down. Was just, just, uh, uh, But they did the same thing. They fell apart against the Chargers, too. Uh, maybe they don't do time zones very well. I mean, yeah. maybe they don't explain it or something. Will they go on the road? I mean, plus they had like six extra hours because it was a late game, right? Luckily, they play the Giants next week, I think, right? I think so. Uh, yes, that is correct. So, yeah, there's no uh, but yes, way. They, I, I am referring, of course, to the uh, Green Bay versus San Francisco game in San Francisco. Yeah. And, uh, Gene, it's pretty bad, pretty bad year. Uh, I did not go to the Chargers game or this game. Uh, good for you. But in hindsight, probably for the best. Oh, my gosh. There's nothing worse than going to a game, spending all that money, and then they, they suck. But the only thing that made me feel good was George Kittle is a star, and he's an Iowa guy. He yep. went to the University of Iowa. So he's he makes Iowa look good. But, wow. Uh, yeah, he burned us a couple times. Yeah, he was good. By the way, I thought the guy the guy was like in the booth like a week ago, and now he's like running eighty yard patterns. Yeah, he was what, out there. What he's are they feeding this guy? I don't know, but he's tough. He gets back out there. He's good. He's. I think it's only his second year. I think yep. this is his second year. All right. Well, Gene, let's just talk about tickets really quick. Uh, when I checked at nine a.m. There were about 1,900 tickets still available. And this was on Sunday, 9 a.m. Mm. Uh, $185 was the uh, starting price. So, I mean, again, that was 9 a.m. The phone, I'm sorry, the game would be on at 5. So I'm pretty sure they, I did not check. But I'm pretty mm. sure they'd be around 150. Yeah. Kind of a surprise for a 9-1 nine, nine team. I know. San Francisco, and you can't even sell out a big-ass game it, like that? It, it shows you they shouldn't be in Santa Clara, which is about 40 miles south of San Francisco. They should be in San Francisco. It's so hard, those fans. I bet, I bet people were trying to see if uh, a bunch of Packer fans would buy tickets. I think that's yeah. what it was. It's just it's really so, tough. Yep. Uh, but, yeah, I did not go. I, I was maybe thinking about it, but uh, mm-hmm. I, just, I just can't. It's probably $40. Save it for the playoffs. Hopefully. Yeah, exactly. They'll they'll have to meet in a title game. Hopefully, yep. it'll, it'll be a re, it'll be there. Packers are gonna have to go on the road. They'll have to figure it out. Well, hey, you know the uh, Niners still have to play lately. The uh, yeah, Seahawks, they got some tough. The Rams, some tough games. The Cardinals. I mean, yeah, the, the Cardinals. Pa- Packers. Beat them. Hey, they got. Let's just win the divi- Let's win the division there, Green Bay. So you don't have to go through all that wild card. Yeah, all right. Well, we will go through the future games oh, here okay. in one moment, but. Let's just go over the game really quick. Uh, I believe this was the second play of the game. Uh, Aaron Rodgers fumbles the ball. Mm. And uh, the 49ers get it at the, uh, I don't know what, the three, the four, seven, or something like that. It, this ain't Sports Center, Gene, all right? I'm not trying to recreate the game. <laughs> right, right, right. I missed that play. I think I fell asleep. <laughs> you were amped up, obviously. Wait, I, 
I must have fell asleep for a quick second. It was like the second. third play of the game or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I think I think I fell asleep for a quick second. Um, so, yeah, not a good start. I'll tell you what, the 49ers have a very good front four, even better than the Packers. Packers have a pretty good front four as well, but uh, Niners are the real deal. Gosh, and, and they're young. I mean, yeah. yeah they're going to be good for a while. Yeah. And, again, all it takes is just guys that can rush and get to the quarterback. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you're Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady or John Elway or Joe Montana, if you can like think that you're gonna, you know, dude's about to get hit, he he's gonna throw the ball early, and uh, yeah, that's what happened. Mm-hmm. They they really can do anything for the most part. Um, well, oh uh, oh yeah. So did you see that Jimmy uh, what's uh, Jimmy Graham play uh, where he like caught the ball but like it got knocked out. Uh, I I must have and fell replay? asleep for that. I missed Jeez. that. I, I know I, I, I fell asleep. What, what did you I, see, Gene? You know, I saw the second half. I saw the third quarter for sure. All and right. I saw, I think I saw most of the second quarter. All I right. must have missed that play. So we're not going to go through the whole game, but the uh, Niners uh, pretty much whooped them. And uh, the defense played pretty well for the Packers. Mm. Uh, there's a couple of drives where, yeah, they definitely got torched. But I think at that time they're pretty much exhausted, and you can only, like, hold these yeah. guys back for so long. Um, Gene, a couple other notes from the broadcast. Uh, you were probably asleep, Gene. No, so, uh, I, 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 I watch it with the sound off, though. So the game was uh, in San Francisco. And uh, for some of the outro music on one segment, oh, the theme from Full House, Gene. Wow. Everywhere you look. Yeah. Yep. There you go. There's a show that I – Watch a couple times, but didn't get. To oh, Gene, I, I was uh, that was my wheelhouse oh, when, was I was, it? when I was a kid. Yeah, but yeah. I was like 10, 12, 11. TGIF. Yeah, that was pretty big. Uh, I mean that that is pretty much to you what uh, like the the Big Bang Theory yeah, is to me. Yeah. Oh, and hey. the Big Bang Theory is to my like little cousin. How about this though? Do you know at the end of the game? I didn't know this either. I'd fell asleep by then. So the over under I think was forty seven, and it, they were at forty five. Wasn't it? I, I don't know. Yeah, 37 to 8, something like that. And then the Packers were on their 29, and they could have tried to score, but they just kneeled and oh, yeah. ran out. They caught Because that was the over-under. Yeah. yeah. Well, if I'm not betting, I don't really care. I know. Same stuff, thing happened in the Patriots-Cowboys game where Patriots, they, they could have kicked the field goal at the end of the game, and it would have covered the point spread, yeah. but they just they well, didn't. Well, Bill Belichick, uh, he's a genius. He had the under, yeah. you know. Or the over, yeah. or whatever it is. Uh, um, a couple other notes. Uh, Gene, they showed uh, turkeys. Oh, running they around showed, in Wisconsin? Uh, no, nah, not running around, Gene. It was a uh, mass turkey farm. Like, uh, one of these oh. turkey farms. Where just, it's, you, know, you see these chicken, you know, where they're pretty much underneath a shed? Yeah. And there's like a million of them, like all crunched together. Like, same thing, but with these turkeys. Oh, my goodness. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, these are turkeys, but, uh, I mean, this is a mass turkey farm, right? Or whatever these things right, are called. Right, right. Yeah. Like, I mean, Gene, when you think about your turkey, you think about, a, you know, a bird, you know, out in the, uh, you know, prairie or whatever. Right, or the right. forest, you know, yeah. running around. Not like, mm. uh, you know, three inches from Wisconsin, the Wisconsin, they just ro- run their uh, highways, run around. We- same thing in Iowa. Yeah. You're free to go unless you're being hunted. Then you better hide. Watch out, turkeys. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't think that's uh, – I think people are too dumb to realize those turkeys are being tortured. But uh, Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a me- big deal in Iowa, too, where the e- e- cows can either roam free or then they or sometimes they put them all in a, one place, and that's not good. Yeah, like, well, you know, it's just like, hey, let's just let them – Yeah, these cows, enjoy. They don't you know, know their range, you know? Right, right. Their yeah. range. That's – you know, and if you can't give, provide them the space, why are you growing cows, you know? That's exactly it. Thank All you. Right. Yeah. All right, so the uh, Packers got destroyed. Yeah. Um, oh, well, they're, they are now, what, they're 8-3 and three now, 7-3? and 8-3. Three? and three. Something like that, 8-3. and three. All right, so what is their eight schedule and like? 8-3. and No, 3. They got 3 losses. 8-3. and three. Yeah, because Vikings, Vikings uh, go to Seattle this week, so you're kind of rooting for Seattle. Oops, sorry. Um, yeah, a little bit. So I'm um, trying to pull this up, but the uh, app's not. But I think they do play the Giants next. I uh, In New York, I'm going to chalk that up as a win. 
Okay. Uh, they cannot lose to the Giants. It's not – I don't even think it's humanly possible. I mean, the Bears did their best, and they couldn't lose. We'll talk us. about it in one moment. So the Giants, they play the Redskins. Thank God the Redskins are at Lambeau Field. Oh, my God. So they can actually play on a field that is, uh, you know – Decent for a human being. You want to talk about, you got to win. No, wow. Yeah. All right. And then versus the Bears. So the Bears are in. There's uh, like another Green Bay. one. Wow. Yep. Then they uh, go that's going to be a win. Then Vikings at Minnesota. That may yeah, be tough, but I think the, I think the pa- Vikings, or I'm sorry, I think the Packers are going to prevail. All right. And then at the Lions. And uh, wow, Matt so Stafford they, may be done for the season. Yeah. So they should definitely win. They're going to win the division, I hope. Uh, yeah, and the Vikings. Mm, Vikings are pretty good, but got to be, they got to win. I don't. Hey, if it's uh, Aaron Rodgers or uh, Kirk Cousins, yeah, I'm going with. A-Rod. I'll tell you, they, the Bears. It's amazing about the Bears because they they got booed at home again yesterday. They've been getting booed every game. They got booed. I was there opening night against the Packers. They got booed. I mean, that's before the, the, the fans boobers. figured out how bad they were. Yeah, that's before they were uh, just young pups. They didn't realize it. Yeah. Well, Gene, let, we'll talk about the uh, New York Giants versus the Chicago Bears, man, uh, momentarily. Uh, but let's, br- you know, there's some drama going on in the ba- in Bears Town, so well, we, we got to refer to this. Okay, you know, we got to build it up. So Trubisky calls the whole Sunday night experience, which uh, it was what it was Rams Bears last week. Yeah, right? Did we watch that. Or we talk about Bears that. Should have won that game. It was terrible. Terrible game. And he got Trubisky got pulled be, with two minutes left oh, that's in right. the game. By the way, uh, no no problem with his hips. You know, I know. that was BS. Yeah. I, Can we I'd please say that, get some yeah. investigation going on here. Yeah, right, right. How about we get Mueller on this? Oh huh? my gosh, thank. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go Vikings. Go yeah, Vikings. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Chad, and all our Vikings. I know. I Hey, listen, if the Packers can't win the Super Bowl and a few other teams, then, yeah, I'll be you're for right, the Vikings. Right for the Vikings, yeah. I just, uh, yeah. Well, Thanks, Trubisky, too. Trubisky called you. the whole Sunday night experience, including the flight home, miserable, quote, unquote. Yeah, that's good. Uh, team sucks. Well, Mitch. Mitch I, oh, we, this is right for you, Mitch. What do you think we feel like watching you play? It's tough. Bears games, I I mean, I didn't watch it. It wasn't on here. We had to, I don't know who we had. Uh, but it, Bears are unwatchable pretty much. Well, no, this is, well, he's talking about the Rams game, though. But, uh, yeah, yeah the correct. Rams, that was another one. How do you, sub, how do you, uh, yeah, that's terrible. And right. I think they got another National League. And then uh, more, more, more drama from the Bears, Gene, mm. via Jason uh, Leiser of the Chicago Sun-Times. Bears special teams coach Chris Tabar. Mm. Any thoughts on uh, Chris Tabarjean? Any? Uh, yeah, uh, as soon as I figure out who he who is he? He's the special teams coach. Oh, okay. How's he doing? Said he's been encouraged by what he's seen from ki- from his kicker. Oh, my God. Pinero, whatever That's this guy's enough. name is. Uh, Eddie Pinero. Pinero? Yeah, Eddie Pinero. Who has missed five, and this is before right. the game, has missed five kicks in the last four games. Right, and they gave up a six-round pick for him, draft pick. They, the Bears are so stupid. He's a competent kid, Tabor said. Oh, my God. I don't see any uh, bugs in there or snakes in his head Yeah. that I'm worried about. Hmm. Gene, snakes? There's no snakes in his head. Yeah. How about on the plane, Gene? Are there snakes on the plane? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I actually never saw that movie. When I was excited about it for a little while, then I never even watched it. How about it. the grass? Are there any snakes in the yeah. grass in, land, he, in he Soldier did, Field? He did miss an extra point yesterday, although it was from 48 yards. But There's so. some snakes. Yeah. Snakes. All right. So uh, it's a mess. Let's just talk about Giants, game. Chicago. Uh, you know, again, you know, Mitch Trubisky, he'll, he'll throw a really pretty pass. I know. That's the problem. And then a guy will be wide open and he'll completely miss. So inconsistent. But uh, his consistency when he actually makes stuff, very few and far between. He's he's just not he's just not good enough. I think he not, needs to run more. He sh- he should start you know. Yeah, whatever. And then maybe he's just afraid he's gonna uh, get hurt. Yeah, I don't know how they could be afraid of that. Yeah, I don't know. It's very disappointing. Well, he, how bad he did they miss are. games last year and this year from injuries. Is that correct? Mm, Was it last year? Yeah, I missed Two? a couple last year. All right, so maybe yeah. he is injury prone. Or not. I don't know. Maybe he's talent prone. <laughs> yeah, in prone. Yeah, uh, or immobile. Yeah. Um, second drive. You know, again, Mitch Trubisky leading them down the field. There was an interception in the end zone. Man. 
what, what a finisher. I know. And, uh, Gene, I, you know, you, I know you're not watching these Bears games because you're either no, asleep. No, I, I want to. I want to. They're just not but, on. But maybe you've home. seen these uh, commercials where, uh, like, someone in this Bear outfit, it's a Visa commercial. Oh, yeah. Is walking to the uh, concession stands, I'm yeah. guessing, in uh, Soldier Field and ordering, like, some, like, ice cream. Yeah. And they're decked out, like, in uh, Bear, you know, fur and helmet, you know, hat, you know, skull and all yeah. this stuff. And, uh, you know, the gag of the commercial is that it's a woman, oh. and she's buying ice cream, you know, for her little daughter, you know. Oh, wow. And uh, Gene, a couple things here, Gene. Yeah. I mean, first of all, she, she's, like, hot, though. You know, she's, like, an actress, like a model. Right. No uh, hot no hot model is uh, dressing like a, uh, like a bear. All right. You know? I'll have to turn the sound up next time. I always watch TV with the sound up, so I miss a lot. If you saw it, I'm sure you would yeah. uh, recognize. So right, the whole right. thing is like it's like you know, you know, bring the family to the games and all that stuff. Yeah. Pass on the tradition. So nothing uh, better than that. Although yeah, I, I didn't so, have kids, so I can't do. I'll never have that bonding experience with my son or daughter taking her to their first hockey game. Yeah. Or whatever sporting event. Yeah, you know, again, Gene, I don't know if there's a lot of women in the uh, soldier field dressed as bears, yes, you know, um, with like bear fur and right, like a bear right. skull and everything. Yeah, they're not hot though. Okay, if they are, they're not hot. I'll tell okay. you that. So well, it's, it's just it's, it's just ridiculous family. commercial. That's All my right. point. I've seen some very beautiful women uh, at the Cub game. So yeah, mm. were they wearing a skull of a cub too? <laughs> the fur of a cub? Oh my gosh. All right. Be then, so sad next all right. So, and, and, okay. So the Ch Chicago know. won barely. They're terrible. They're bad. They're David, playing Detroit Thursday. At least I'll get to watch that game. But that's a tough watch. Detroit and the Bears. Matt Patricia's going to get fired. He's he's an idiot. I think. I mean, it, from everything I read, they're they're probably going to give him one more year because they got five they might, years. Right? Yeah, they'll probably give him one more because Matthew Stafford's hurt. But. The Bears are unwatchable. They really are. They're terrible. <coughs> yeah, they're really bad the first half, and then uh, they finally. It seems like uh, Trubisky like wakes up. They, they have the smelling basically salts. Basically, giving away tickets, and and to think I paid four hundred dollars to see him play this year, opening game. Wow. Oof. If there's only one way, if there's only a way you can uh, go back and win yourself. I know. If I would have known, I would ask for uh, three hundred dollars of that back. You know. <laughs> But directly from Mitch Trubisky. It's amazing that opening night, how much excitement there was around the Bears to where we are now, where people are like, oh, this is. I don't want to watch a game now. I know. Yeah. All right. And then, uh, well, Gene, at least they're not the Lions. Lions. We we'll lost to the uh, Redskins. I feel bad for the Lions. How can they keep just every time you think it can't get worse, it's just another disaster? And they got to. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem – there's no hope for this team. Yep. And, uh, Gene, it was so bad that uh, I, th I think the Lions threw an interception, like the second to last play of the game, and then the uh, – maybe it was fourth down. I oh. think that was what it was, right? Right. And so – but the Redskins had one more uh, – what do you call it? One more play. Yeah. And uh, Case Keenum had to come in and uh, do the kneel oh down. Oh, God. Uh, because uh, what's that guy's name? Is it Harris or uh, no? Something? The rookie from Ohio State. Yeah, I'm not sure is. what it was. And but, I guess uh, he wasn't very good anyway. But he, uh, yeah, he was uh, taking a selfie at the time. What an idiot! I mean, these guys. That's just. I was just. Well, first. Gene, you know, it's it's not every day you get to beat the Lions, right, Gene? <laughs> What a terrible, what okay. a monumental uh, occasion! I mean, between the Giants and the Bears and the Lions and the Red, that is that's tough sledding. I yeah. that's tough sledding. That's a tough one. Gene, uh, this guy, this, this quarterback. I wish I knew his name. Hawkins, right? Oh, Hawkins. Haskins. Haskins. Yeah, Dwayne there, yeah. Haskins. I think Dwayne, Dwayne Haskins. Yeah, you're, I think you're right. Yeah, he was. Uh, you know, was taking a selfie. He was. Uh, he was using the Wayne font filter. <laughs> The Wayne font filter, Gene. <laughs> that was the last time the Lions were good, weren't? Oh uh, uh, no, they had some. He had a he had like one good. Wayne gosh, font. The Lions, they're hopeless. Uh, and then there's reports that Matt Patricia isn't saying who's calling the Lions I defense. Know. What, what he? Oh my gosh! Not only the team's terrible, you have to deal with Matt Patricia. 
Hey, Gene, some, someone's well. calling defensive plays, Gene. You could have fooled me. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right, there I mean, go. they're a mess. Yeah. Yep. Three and seven, one. Good God. Oh my gosh, just terrible. And they almost beat the Packers too. I mean, yeah, they're a mess. Oh well. They always play the Packers really tough. So uh, yeah. I know everyone else thinks the Lions really suck, but I am secretly worried when they play the. Uh, yeah. It's it's in Detroit. Yeah. All right, so we just got some odds and ends. Uh, the NFL news does not stop, Gene. Uh, especially we're going to do an update for the Miles Garrett saga. Oh, my gosh. And uh, Miles Garrett, of course, was suspended indefinitely. Mm. He did a, uh, a, a, what do you call it, appeal yeah. in person in New York, Park Avenue, the Park Avenue offices. And uh, there's reports. By the way, it's uh, supposedly uh, pr- confidential hearings. Uh, leaked. Leaks pretty quick. I know, but apparently that always happens, so no big surprise, well, I guess. What a, what a coincidence that this particular st- uh, example leaked. Uh, he said that Mason Rudolph called him a racial slur. I, I don't... Mm. And then that's what uh, enraged him, or that's uh, what happened before. I'm not going to say that's what his claim right, he got right, enraged with, right. but uh, he's saying that happened before. He, I don't know how. You whacked him over the head with the helmet. Yeah, if they don't prove it, I don't know if they can prove it, but nobody's backed him up. I mean, actually well, heard it. His own teammates said they had not heard that until it was reported. I mean, he should. You never said that to them in the locker not, room. His suspension shouldn't be lifted until uh, he either, I don't know, until they figure that one out. That's bad. And, uh, you know, apparently there's tons of mics on the field, and apparently yeah. they reviewed uh, audio evidence. And uh, they said that the NFL said there's no evidence to support that claim. Not saying it doesn't exist. Mm, they just have not found it. It's hard to believe. It is. It's tough to believe. Oh, my gosh. Well, Gene, I think I figured it out. Oh, you did? Because I'm pretty good at reading lips. Oh, I see. You know? what, what did he actually say then? So, uh, Mason Rudolph. You, if you look at the video, like right when he's trying to grab the guy's helmet off him, Miles right. Garrett's helmet off, he tells him, "You, you." He, <laughs> he says, uh, "You belong in the Redskins." Oh, that's what he says. You, you belong funny. in the Redskins. That's the racial slur. I see. That's the racial slur uh, right there. All right. Well, you should be on the Redskins. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I'm. Hey, can't. It's he, a team name, right? It's just. It's he's just terrible. talking football. Right. Right. Um, Can't blame him. Not good. Terrible. All right. Uh, and then, uh, Gene, you know, I know you were watching the Bears game. I know you weren't watching Colts at Texans uh, Thursday night. I did see some of it. Well, did you see one of these Colts players, uh, I, I believe is an offensive lineman, has uh, f- face paint oh, on him. Right. And uh, he's doing the old uh, John Randall uh, crazy warrior face paint, ultimate oh, warrior yeah. face paint. Right. I love that. And, uh, Gene, what is going on? I thought this was outlawed oh, they did. back in the day by uh, oh. because John Randall. Uh-huh. Do you you, you want to know the difference, Gene? What? This guy's white. That's the difference. Oh, I see. So. Apparently, if you're white, you can uh, have crazy, uh, yeah. you know. Right out of uh, Varsity Blues. Yep. Correct. I don't yeah. know that. I've never seen that movie. So. Oh, but the guy, the one guy who's on steroids does all that stuff. Oh, all right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, just like it. Yeah. All right. We're going to move right along. Hey. We're going to move right along. Sunday night baseball. Sunday night baseball at Miller Park. I got the uh, teams on the wrong way. Uh, there, but, uh, family Insurance on March, Park. On March, uh, yeah, March 29th. Gosh, it's so Yeah, early. you're right. That's funny. This is a tweet, and it says add Miller Park. I just copied this tweet. Oh. Sunday Night Baseball at Miller Park on March 29th for Brewers and Cubs. Wow. Gene, is this the new best rivalry I, in sports, I, Gene? It's pretty cool. ESPN, their first game of the year is going to be Brewers-Cubs. I mean, first Sunday Night Baseball. But, man, I, that's so Hey, early. when they when these guys play each other, it's so uh, it's so competitive. Like, every game is like a uh, playoff game. Yeah, so, uh, now that you got Grandal. You guys, yeah. Boy, and then we lost Grandel. Oh, you got. But we'll oh, talk about that. Oh, yeah, that's right. He went to the White Sox. What am I saying? I think the Brewers are trying to, uh, they're bringing up a lot of young players. So I think their plan is to uh, yeah. cash in on these young players. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty exciting. Pretty so, awesome. Uh, 
But the season, I'm going uh, Cubs Cardinals April like ninth or tenth, somewhere in there. And uh, gosh, it's gonna be cold. I'm just telling you, those early April games and May yeah. games. Well, hey, credit uh, to the Major League Baseball for er- scheduling the game in Milwaukee. For God's sakes, thank God it's not in. Uh, you know, it's not Chicago. Yeah, the, the games. Oh, it's gonna be tough. I mean, it still um, snows. It snowed three times in Chicago last year in April. But as well, the Brewers might as well rent out the stadium. Oh my for, gosh, uh, I all know. the different games. I know. Let's get three games in, there in one day. Because they moved the season up even farther, and these games. Oh, it's gonna be brutal. Yeah, everyone Man. should just play at Milwaukee. Everyone was talking about like how much the uh, the dome cost uh, back in the day in Milwaukee, two thousand. I'll tell you what, that's paid off. Oh my god! Several times over. Yeah, absolutely. Several times over. All right, and then uh, yeah, Gene, the big news: uh, free agent Yasmani Grandel, who had a great season for oh. the Brewers this year, uh, decided to turn his back. Oh my god! On the team and fan base that embraced him. That's too bad he and, did that. Uh, because chasing, chasing those dollars, Gene. I, I'm sure the Brewers are going to pay him pretty well, too. But yeah. Well, he signed he signed basically a four-year deal at the same rate that he uh, played for the Brewers this year. Right. On a one-year deal. So, uh, I mean, you got to take that four-year deal, Gene. I, I guess mean, so. But uh, playing for the White Sox, you don't – it's yeah. not uh, – good luck. Yeah, have, have fun playing in Guaranteed Rate Park or I whatever know. the fuck it's called. I, I, what is it called? Do you it know? is Guaranteed Rate. Oh, my God. Yeah, geez. which is uh, – I don't know what it is. It's some insurance. <laughs> well, you know, like, home. It's home insurance. Hey, but it's got those uh, that licorice shit in the uh, outfield, right? Yeah, they got the arrow, which points out. I, Doesn't it have I, that candy stuff in the outfield or I, something? They have that. that Lollipops? Yeah, oh, there you that go, pinwell. pinwell. Yeah. Uh, Only gosh. now it's your credit score. Yeah, but uh, say goodbye to big. I mean, the White Sox they just don't get the fan support. I don't know. Maybe uh, they should be decent, but we'll see. I, I think he's gonna miss playing. Hey, let me know when Ozzy Guillen is back on the team. All right, that's yeah. that's all I need to know. Right, that's all I care about. The White Sox is Ozzy Guillen. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, Gene. We uh we are gonna continue. Oh, I I have a candidate. <laughs> I, maybe this is – what is your story? Because I might know. We are uh, – well, I'll let you guess. Uh, how about that? So we are going to do the worst state of the week. I, I already I already know. Oh, how about yeah, the Jets? How about yeah, those Jets? Nick, I mean, oh, my gosh. Well, if the Jets were playing either Chicago or Green Bay, maybe. Yeah, we might but, care. Hey, at least the Jets are good again. Yep. For right now, it's too late. It's too lo- too too bad. It's like late in the season, but uh, yeah. All right. So the worst day of the week, Gene. What? Uh, how about you? Uh, well, is it Wisconsin? Oh, okay. Uh, I. You're getting close. You're close. Gene. Oh, because actually, you are close. I, I I love that. Okay, deer hunting season, which is a big deal. Is, is, is that there's not deer season involved? But okay, uh, please but continue. deer hunting season opened in Wisconsin, and four people got shot this weekend, honey. Oh. <laughs> Uh, what, uh, was alcohol involved by I, chance? What I was can imagine. Uh, people in Wisconsin, they get their guns and they get all... Well, I mean, they get liquored up. Yeah, and they're out there shooting deers or whatever's hey. moving in the woods. But four different people got shot hunting. I don't know. It seems like a lot. Got a more, more orange, I suppose. Right, right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, the Jets, hey. 19, Super Bowl bound. Why not? Hey, they actually could, though. I'll see him beat the the Patriots. It's the fiftieth anniversary. Uh, yeah, uh, Broadway Joe. I don't uh, know. So, well, Gene, the it's worst not Wisconsin. The worst, no, the worst three of the week is Wisconsin. Oh, it is. Again, Wisconsin's had a bad week, Gene. The oh. Packers losing and now this. Yeah, the again, uh, uh, friendly hunters getting shot by each other. Yeah. Right. Well, five pl- football players at the University of Wisconsin, Eau Claire. Oh, do you know what? Uh, by the way, what mascot? Oh wow, I Claire? should know that because uh, the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh, they're the Titans. UW Whitewater are the Warhawks. UW Platteville are the Pioneer. I don't know Eau Claire. Oh, okay. Green Bay is the Phoenix. Milwaukee, your school. Yeah, I don't know. Panthers. I don't know what they are either. But oh, Eau Claire. Five. I've been there, but yeah. Oh, I've I've driven through Eau Claire. Uh, but yeah, it's on western Wisconsin, basically on the border of uh, Minnesota and yeah, uh, Wisconsin. Way so up pretty there. close to Minneapolis. Yeah. Uh, went to Stout, by the way. 
Stout Menominee is uh, fairly is about at 45 That's minutes. That's where from my uh, aunt Cassie she lives up there. All right, so five football players at the University of Wisconsin Eau Claire right. were suspended from the team and under investigation. Uh oh. By the school Wednesday after screenshots of a racist conversation between them was uh. circulated by students. Why? And uh, it was basically like uh, some uh, some black uh, student group. Mm. I guess uh, they were saying like uh, you know the meeting is uh, blah 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 this time and right, then the right. uh, KKK rallies at this time blah blah blah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not good, Gene. Oh my god. Not good. What's with all these? Oh boy, that's bad. Why did people have racial tw- even that woman that um, ratted out? Um, Someone, oh Charles Barkley. Then she had all these bad tweets herself. I mean, I where mm, those hey, jokes, well, all that stuff went away. Long, was should have went away a long time ago. Let's uh, let's not throw a stone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's not throw the first stone. Yeah, unless you're Bucky Badger, then you can do what you want. Yep. Hey, Bucky Badger against uh, Goldie the Gopher. Those are two of the great mascots in college. Yep. Yeah. Well, Jim, maybe we can get those racist football players to uh, oh play gosh. the Dubuque uh, football yeah. team. University of Dubuque had a good year. Yeah, they did. Yep. All right. And then, Gene, uh, so, again, it is Thanksgiving. What are your uh, plans oh, for uh, uh, Thanksgiving? Same as uh, – very exciting. Uh, the Macy's Day Parade, of course, always a huge thing. And, uh, and then next Sunday they bring Erica Estrada out of retirement once a year. They dust him off and try to fit him into that red blazer, which he's too fat for, uh, the Hollywood Christmas Parade. And you're going to be on site. I will be there. I'll be there this year. Yeah. That might be fun. I might actually uh, go. It's pretty cool. It's pretty. That's on. That's on Black Friday or what? No, it's no, on it's Sunday, Sunday right? night. Starts at six o'clock. Yeah, Hollywood Boulevard. All right. Well, we'll see who's playing. I, uh, All right. I, I think the Patriots are playing, right? So. Oh. Um. I. Uh, what about you? I uh, probably just gonna stay around here, and uh, I'll probably end up going to the uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken down the block. And, oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> I tell you what, there's one Thanksgiving I did that, and uh, there's nothing sadder than uh, walking wow. out with Thanksgiving uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Enjoyed some Bears football. Uh, yeah, and then uh, watched Mr. Trubisky play like an idiot. I've not seen a Bears game. I don't. Oh, I saw some of the Rams game. Yeah, the Bears are gonna win. I if they. Uh, oh, I think uh, I think Detroit's gonna win. Actually, mm, Bear, uh, it's I don't inside. Know. It's at Detroit, so yeah. The I, Bears are going to be like, what, what is this hey, thing called footing? That we're I remember on? before the season, everyone's all excited about the NFC North, and what a disappointment. I mean, the Vikings and Packers are great. They've outlived, they've been great, but, man, the Lions and Bears are terrible. Yep. It's a yeah. sad, sad set of affairs. Yeah. So. All right, Gene, I think uh, we will end it there. Um, thanks for everyone. For, Safe travels, uh, everybody. Yeah. Travel safely. My mom's driving uh, up to northern Wisconsin, up to uh, up up to northern where my aunt can't see that. So I will watch the snow. All right. So yeah. For Gene Steichen, my name is Chris Sats. It's the Midwest Sports Show. See you next week. Bye.